Hey friends, Justin here from Sparrow Websites, home of the Launch Kit. You've probably been in the back of your Launch Kit website and uh, been excited to find out that we put some surprises in there for you. So when you go to your dashboard and go over to pages, you'll see a lot of uh, pages we've set up from about pages to team pages to quote pages that you might not see live. So let me take you through how to add one of those pages. And let's just start with the second most visited page on every website which surprise is the team or the about page is actually um, the second most visited page. So that's sitting back there. Let's just right click on that and open with Elementor. Okay, so this is going to be the common practice open in a new tab. And again, if you need any help with these processes, feel free to just sign up for a live uh, design consultation on our website. And we'd be glad to walk you through that. Our phone number's there. You obviously know our website. So let us know, we can set that up. So there's an about page hiding back here that actually has kind of a design that we put together just to help you out, get started. And you can customize this to your liking and then put it live. So let's just do a quick, brief customization here. Um, obviously the about us is the heading that you might change that to team. Um, you'll notice that um, it's an H1. And let's just say, you know, why we started our company and I, again just to point out it's not right now in the main navigation so we're gonna style this add it and show you how to go live so right click on the background that's the blue section up here and you'll be able to um, edit this section and again from our other trainings you'll know that the styling the image uh, colors fonts is all in the style section so we'll go to style and we see this background image sitting right here waiting to be changed and we'll go ahead and select an image again uh, from our other trainings you'll want that to be at least 1800 or 1900 pixels wide this one's not quite wide enough and it's under 400k that's good but it's not wide enough so let's go to santa claus santa claus is 1200 all right that'll work for us a little bit it'll stretch it out a little bit to 18 1900 but we'll just check the quality of it when it gets there and it's under 400k we're going to insert that image and now santa becomes our background um, he is centered he is uh, his attachment is default again that can be scrolled or fixed fixed is where we scroll over him it's fixed to the background scroll as it goes with us so we're going to scroll it, no repeat, and cover. Those are the defaults we've put in your launch kit. Now you have a button here, a pathway. Now you might want to change that to, you know, read our blog if you've put a blog in or get in touch with us. So, you know, we can just edit that, say get in touch, and we'll change the link. You always just want the extension of the link. So the way, the easiest way to uh, pull that, see if I can show my tools up here again. Um, it seems like a, what you want to do is hover over that menu item and down here on the bottom left when you hover over you'll see the extension of that page just to make sure you get it right which is slash contact you can see that down there oops so uh, the contact page is slash contact so we want to go to this button right click on it and we're going to tell that to link to contact now if you forget that it's the contact and you were to take this whole thing and just start writing contact, um, the, it will bring up by default, you know, it'll realize that page is sitting there. But you don't want all the other dot com in there. You just want your slash contact. So back that out. Now you've got your contact in. Um, you'll notice there's an icon, a Facebook icon there, which, you know, we want that to go away. So, you know, if you click on the icons, you might want to make that be a calendar. Uh, if we're saying get in touch with us. So now it changes it to a calendar. Again, in the editor, you're not going to be able to click through to these pages. We're just editing what they say and where they go. So on the about page, you've put a background image, your title, a, a subtle secondary button. And now we can just write all day long. It all started one snowy day. Okay, and so we've put a little subheading. Now we want to put some text in here. Um, and so what you want to do is go up to the little drop down grid up here and just grab and slide in this text editor. And you can write till your heart's content. Again, shout out to our friend Brendan Lamb, uh, who made Amish Ipsum. It's a fun website where instead of the Latin stuff, we just use this. So 
Uh, we'll just copy some of his Amish Ipsum in there, funny sayings that you'll hear around Lancaster, Pennsylvania, <laughs> and we'll put that text in there. So now you've written something about yourself, your company. You can go through and edit these, what we value. Again, right click on the blue sections to edit the backgrounds. You know, so editing the section would change the entire background. We can go to color in the style section here. We'll go to color and change that to be whatever your brand color is that you feel most uh, represents you. If you're in a launch kit, you probably have your brand colors preloaded there. Um, if let me just a quick point on that. If you your color is over here, let's just say and you pick your perfect color that you like um, and you just get it right. You put your hex code in. You can hit this little plus button. And it'll add it to your palette of colors so you can always have that color at your disposal. So you might go through and edit what we value, um, right click on these columns and change the background images to something that you have loaded up in your gallery. Again, all these things are just options that we've built in for you. Now you might say, well, I don't really want to have that. Um, and we can delete that out. and That's no problem testimonials you could have little one-liners again right click we've built this all in for you and over here on the right hand side you'll see there's two places for testimonials in here um, if you don't want the slider feature again just clicking on these you'd be able to edit them the name um, and all that information would go in there or you can say oh, I don't really like a slider you can go up to our little uh, gallery of options here and you can just put the text directly in and write out text. However you desire, again, right click and you can delete these out. This is really designed to be easy to customize, but let's say you don't have testimonials ready and you just need an about page live. You can delete that section. Um, maybe you don't wanna have what we value. Uh, you're not ready for that. You don't maybe have core values assigned. Um, you could delete that or I just, uh, I stepped backwards there. What you could do, just to hide it, um, and there's a big tip, right click on the section and go to edit section. And in the advanced part of this section, and you, when you go down to responsive right here, you can say, hey, I wanna hide this on all my platforms. So right now the design element's still there waiting for you, it's just hidden. And then we go down to the final section and you have this form. Now on the about page, there's two quick things you can do. Uh, one, you could change this image to be, again, another image about your building or a project that you've done. You might not want this background image in here that's a really subtle like design layout. So again, right click on that, go to the style setting, um, look around for that image. In this case, it's a background overlay. So you, know, you could delete that out. I'm just trying to show you how to make this really friendly for, for your needs. Um, you know, pick a color that you like and then you edit this image. So we'll go through and again, I'll just pick images here. And you can change your call to action here. On this form, let's make sure it's going to you. So here's the one quick thing on this form. So we're gonna right click and edit this form or you can delete it entirely. You could just put a phone number in here. All right, that's not a problem at all. If you want a form, right click on here and we'll call it the about form and whatever information you want it's kind of there built for you the submit button may not be a request quote for you in this situation um, you might say let's chat and you have an icon there you could change that out actions after you submit this it's going to send an email now what that email is going to have you know you want to have your email address in here your full email address We'll change the subject to about page contact form. And then the from email, typically what you do just for is you want to say no reply at your domain.com. So no reply at, you know, uh, Murphy's housewashers.com. And then from, you know, uh, you know, Santa's website. And then the reply to, you can put to the email field, which would mean you could just hit reply when that email comes in. Um, and if you want to copy that to someone else in your organization, you can also do the fun part of um, customizing the post entry message. So you could do a custom message here that says, you know, Santa is on his way. Call us if he doesn't show up. And that would, that would change that. So, 
once you do that, again, you've got an about page here sitting here. You just customize it really simple to get it up there. And we're going to go ahead then and update. Now that means our content is there, but now we have to add it to our menu. We have a video, a training about that, but let me just show you real quick. Um, you can get into more detail in our other video. So what you want to do is go, um, this is in a new tab, right? We always open in a new tab, so I can just close that tab. I'm going to go back to then my tab of pages, and I'm going to go to my menu. So appearance, menus. I have this about page. I'm really excited I built. I'm going to find that about page here in the list of my pages, and I'm going to say add that to my menu. It's going to throw it on the bottom. I'm going to drag it to the top so it's home about blog, and I'm going to save this and wait for it wait for it right click up here let's open in a new tab and check out our website and home about and we'll see santa and all his glory check it out make sure and you notice that hidden section is not there we've got it all get in touch it goes to our contact page and voila we're excited and we're off to the races all right so hopefully that's a helpful tip on how to add a page hidden in your dashboard to your main menu and style it along the way. As always, sign up for a design live session with us if you need help along the way. We'd be glad to do that.